This week, I would like to do some testing on some mystery steel because I need some more tooling. And this is good heavy material. Now this first one is a beastie piece of rebar. And it is, it's almost inch and five eighths. I'd say it's inch and five eighths. So it is a pretty good chunk of material. And I was thinking about using this for maybe some bottom tooling or maybe some top tooling even. Maybe some fullers, something like that. And this is a piece of, I think this is one inch rebar. Yeah, pretty much one inch rebar. Now I want to see what these are made of. Now most of these are probably an alloy, probably not the greatest steel, but if it will halfway harden, I will use it as a top tool. Now the best way that I know how to do this test is I'm going to cut little slivers off of each piece, try to keep them consistent. I'll probably do a couple just to, so I can test them, make sure the heating's right, and I'm going to test them in water, and if they break in water after I harden them, then there's a pretty good chance that I'll be able to use them. But if they just bend over, most likely they're just mild steel. All right, I have these cut. I split the big one down the middle on one of the pieces. This one I left whole, which it's a little bit not very consistent because I was using a cutoff wheel. And these ones here, I have pretty consistent. I have three of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these up to critical temperature. I'm going to let them normalize out. Then I'll bring them back up and then quench them in water. And I'll probably just start with one at a time to see what happens. This big material I actually have some faith in because that's some sort of structural tension type rebar. It's not normal rebar. So I'm hoping that it hardens out. Most likely this one is an alloy and it's probably not going to do much. Okay, first glance, looks pretty good. I didn't see any cracks in it. Both look pretty consistent. I tried to get the heat as best I could. Just don't want it by hands a little rough, but do a file test. Kind of skating off both but it could just be case hardened. So I'm gonna put them in the vise and see what happens. I don't know what it's made of, but it's pretty tough. I would think that I could fold that over. I cannot. Try this one because it's a little bit thinner. Got a little bit more hanging out. Now this one sounds a little crunchy just putting it into the vise. So it may already be breaking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now this one that was the big piece shattered whenever I hit it. So that tells me that that thing did not like the water because it was cracking in the vise. But it does show me that that steel is getting very hard, which is what I want. So the first round of testing is the rebar, the regular piece of rebar is very resilient, I will say that. And that the big piece of rebar, the inch and five eighths, became brittle in the water, so I know that it is hardening up. So I'm gonna do the next piece in oil, just for fun, see what happens. And I'm also gonna do this one in oil, or the, the next piece of this, just to see if it bends over. Because right now, I'm still pretty impressed with this. For just tooling that I'm gonna use is probably pretty tough. I can probably live with it. This, I'm hoping that this is tough enough that I can make some fuller top fullers or something like that, a little bit more hammer type stuff. Maybe not really a hammer, but somewhere in that realm.
All right, there's no visible cracks in either one of these. And this is obviously the one inch rebar. This is the inch and five eighths. And we'll see what happens. The pile's still skating, but it feels a little bit more grabby maybe on the one inch. Still wants to skate though, so like I said, that could still be just case hardened. Onto the inch and five eighths. Pretty clean break. I'm gonna try it one more time just to make sure it's consistent. Okay, so the inch and five eighths has broke pretty clean. It didn't shatter like it did last time. It broke into pieces wherever it was struck. So what I see from that is that this thing is oil quenchable. And it's got a pretty good cross section in it. I'm pretty positive that this is a decent steel to mess with. I'm not going to try to make knives or anything like that out of it, but for tooling, I think that it's pretty decent. Now, this stuff here, this was the oil quench one. Couldn't get it to break, couldn't get it to bend. But it's also a pretty decent sized cross section. If it'll focus. So it may just be because I have too thick of a piece, but I would think that I could bend over that the way I was hitting it. Now it is kind of bending over the edges, which makes me think that it's kind of just case hardened, stiffened up a little bit. And the same with this one that was water quenched. I didn't notice it before, but right there you can see where the hammer bent that over. I would say that this is maybe a little bit better carbon than just mild steel, but I would say the carbon content's pretty low. But I think I will still use it for tooling. It just may not last as long. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the test. I think that I learned quite a bit from that and that uh, stay away from water on the inch and five eighths. The inch material really doesn't matter. I can probably run it in water if I want to stiffen it up some. And, but this, I'm going to maybe try to make some top fullers out of here eventually, since it's a pretty good material. And once I, once I temper these, it'll be a lot better. As always, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week.